Hi, I'm Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking, and I'm going to bring you something really unusual today. I like bringing you different things. Um, when I moved to Mexico many years ago, I wouldn't touch a jalapeno or any type of hot chili. But living in Mexico, you grow to love them. So I'm going to show you an uh, appetizer that you can make out of jalapenos for your guests next time that you have a party to put it on a tray. As you see, I have gloves on. I learned the hard way many years ago working with jalapenos, and I washed my hand and washed my hands, and I made the mistake of touching my eye. You never want to do that, so I've learned the hard way. But in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to haul this out. I want to show you. I've already cleaned these peppers already out. I've got all the membrane out and all the seeds out. That's where the main heat is, is in the seeds and everything. So... So what I'm going to do is I've got my knife and I'm going to start at the very top of where the stem is and I'm going to run it all the way down to the bottom. And if I open it up, I try to open it this way so you can see it. You can see it's just, I have to work with it. It's loaded with seeds and everything. All sorts of seeds and things down in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking my knife and I'm going to go around the sides of it and start cutting out as much of the membrane as I can without destroying the pepper. And I have like a little salt cellar spoon here that I use to help me dig it out. See, all those seeds are where all the hot hotness comes from. And you want to get all those seeds out of there. And, there's, and get that membrane. Because behind each one of these membranes, there are more seeds. So sometimes you have to really get in there with your fingers. And that's why I wear gloves. See all those seeds still hiding in there? Well, I don't want any of those seeds in there when I get ready to eat this. I mean, you could. Some people, they, they do it that way. They, they, they just do the whole pepper. Um, but <laughs> not for me. It's too spicy. Okay. Make sure there's nothing hit up behind here. Okay, there's another one. As you see that I've emptied this one out. Okay, now I'm going to get the rest of my ingredients together and show you what we're going to do with these. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we got all of our chilies all cleaned out and ready to go. So now I'm going to show you the next step. The next step is I'm going to take um, peanut butter. And I'm using crunchy because I love crunchy peanut butter, but you could probably smooth would work better. I want a fourth a cup of that. And as I showed you all before, if you spray your cup, then the stuff comes out a lot easier. So I'm going to measure out one-fourth a cup of peanut butter into my measuring cup. Okay, that's about one-fourth a cup. Now, see how that came right out? So much easier. Then I've got a one-fourth cup of powdered sugar. We'll pour that with my peanut butter. And then I want about maybe a teaspoon. I've got kosher salt, maybe a teaspoon of kosher salt. Put that in there. Then I'm going to mix these two together. My peanut butter, my kosher salt, and my powdered sugar. And this is going to be thick. All right, I've got this pretty much mixed together. It's, it's still very hard. And what I did is I've got a piping bag, but I just took a Ziploc bag and burned it into a cup. And we'll put all this, put, pour all this right into the Ziploc bag. Like I said, it's a very dry ingredient, so. This peanut butter off of here. Okay, let me glove up and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I, I took my peanut butter and put it in my Ziploc bag and made a piping bag and, and twisted it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the very end of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take inside and put a little bit of this pe peanut butter inside each one of these chilies. And I don't want to fill it up full of peanut butter because you don't want the peanut butter to be overwhelming the taste. There it is. There's a little, uh, just a line in that one. I'm going to put a line in this one. Just a simple line. I'll do a line in this one. See if I can open this more so you can see it. Help me get my piping bag working here. A line in that one. And we'll take this one and put just a slight line. If you fill this thing full of peanut butter, it would just be too much peanut butter. So that's a line in that one. All right, we got one more to go here. And I'll put a line in this one. And then I've got a line in this one too. Okay, so each one of these has the peanut butter in it. They're all filled, ready to go. Now, I'm going to be back with you in just a second and show you the next step. Okay, I've got me a small bowl of chocolate chips, and I'm going to put this in my microwave, and I'm going to melt this for dipping. So, um, I'm going to put this in my microwave. When I get this ready, I'll be back. Okay, as you see, I got my, cho my chocolate chips out of the microwave and that chocolate is hot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these jalapenos and I'm going to just try to cover them with some chocolate And you want part of the jalapeno to be, still be showing because you want people to see what it is. So, okay, so there's one. And I've got it on, and we'll put this on parchment paper to dry. That's one. Here's my second one. And of course, the chocolate seals up the, slide, the slit in the middle just for the peanut butter surprise. Now, I, I guess you could, if you wanted to, you could use, you know, you could use a lot of chocolate and you could just dip these in chocolate. Um, that's two. But, you know, you have several of these on a tray, like a cheese tray and... Um, you can tell people, you know, what they are and if they want to cut them in half and share them. Um, but it makes a really unique, something different to have on a, on a tray. I mean, and, and the combination of the hot with the, the peanut butter and the powdered sugar, it's a very interesting taste. Okay, that's four. Let's get this last one in here. Get this peanut butter covered up here. Okay. Okay, and there's five. Now I'm going to let these cool for a few minutes and I'll be back for our very last step. Okay, while you're away, I took some white chocolate and did the same thing. I melted it just like the chocolate. And we'll take a little bit of the white chocolate and I'm just going to drip it on.
Okay, now we'll put these in the refrigerator and let them cool, and then we'll be back for the final test. Okay, welcome back. I had them in the refrigerator, and to be honest with you, I got one out and tried it, um, so you wouldn't see me screaming with the heat, but it was really good. It's really tasty. The combination of the jalapeno and the peanut butter, this would be great to take this and put this on a fruit tray or a cracker tray and let people try it. Be great for your next party or if you have a cocktail party, something like this. I hope you'll try these. I love bringing you unusual things and everything. Uh, and I think this is something you might not find anywhere else. It's a unique dish, and I hope that you will try it. Until next time, follow me on Facebook, and I appreciate you subscribing to me on YouTube. It's really helped building my channel, and y'all mean the world to me. I have you in my thoughts and prayers all the time. Don't forget when you're working with jalapenos, wear those gloves, because the first time I did it, I'll never forget, I cried for a week with the peppers in my eyes. But these are really good and they're really tasty and they're really hot and spicy. Until next time, have a spicy day. And this is Jim Mann in Mexico saying, God bless.